G'day fellas and welcome to a brand new patch for the ranked season, that is correct. They have just put in a huge patch for the ranked season, but now they've hit us with a server side patch. So that is a patch that's just going to be taking place on their side of the servers. We'll be asked to do a small update in the game next time that you start it. And then once you restart it, you're going to be able to access the brand new patch. There's a whole bunch of changes that are in here that weren't included in the original patch, including a number of important fixes. So we're going to go through it now. And we're going to talk a little bit about season one, because right now you're not able to play ranked. But tomorrow at this time, you will be able to play ranked. And I expect that a lot of you guys are going to be coming back to Age of Empires 4 because ranked seasons have now begun, or at least they will in 24 hours. So let's take a look at exactly what changes were made. Uh, balance. So core units, a Mangonel projectile area of effect radius reduced from 1.25 to 0.75 tiles. The developer note for this one, let's read it. We realize this is a dramatic reduction in the power level of Mangonels. Our goal is to push gameplay away from siege heavy compositions. I know that there's a lot of team players that are rejoicing right now, but honestly, for me, I don't think, th I, I feel like this is really going to hurt the game. I don't really know what the difference is between 1.25 and 0.75 tiles, so we'll have to wait. We'll have to see exactly how much that difference is. But my suspicion is it's quite a lot. And, okay, this weakens the mangonel, but it doesn't really fix the issue. It, it, I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can fix the issues, but the, the problem that you're going to have is still the trench. And, I mean, we can talk more about this later in the video, but we, we'll go through down and see what other changes there are. Ram bonus damage versus walls increased by plus 100. So we want to provide more options for countering both wooden and stone walls in the early and mid game. I think this is a good change. Um, obviously, walls are a bit of an issue. They continue to be an issue. Uh, Rams having an extra bit of damage, I suspect that probably takes them up to, what, three hitting the, the walls, or at least the palisade walls. It, it, it's a good it's a good change. Monk movement speed moved from one tile to 1.12 tiles, so the same as the prelate, uh, and monk movement speed reduced by 25% while carrying a relic. So does that mean that the prelate doesn't still doesn't get it? Does that mean the scholar still doesn't get it? Uh, developer note, we'd like monks to generally be more useful in your armies without slowing down group formation movements. However, it's also important that there's plenty of opportunity to battle over relic spawns. Interesting that they debuff the relics uh, or the monks in this way, but there's still a lot of saves that don't have this. So as an example, the Rus have got it. Now the mon monks have got it. So that means the Chinese, the English, the French. Uh, who else has got it? The Holy Roman Empire have got the... The, uh, the prelate, the scholar is for... Uh, the scholar is the Delhi, the shaman is the Mongols, and I, I have a suspicion that probably the Mongols, for whatever reason, just won't get this buff. Something tells me that it's not going to be getting, like, uh, you guys know, like, oh, well, it's got a different name, so it's not going to get the, it's not going to get the debuff, or the, the, the nerf, rather. Um, but we'll have to wait, we'll have to see, uh, again, how that one goes. Uh, economy, villages will no longer be interrupted by attacks while gathering resources, so for anybody who missed it on the weekend, Golden League actually banned this out, um, and, and so what happens is, like, your villagers are gathering gold on the gold mine, and when they get hit by a scout, it actually just interrupts them, so that's not going to happen anymore, and then, you know, that before they weren't able to collect resources. Civ specific changes. Mongols. Khan weapon range reduced to 5.5 in feudal, castle, and imperial age. That's actually pretty big. Uh, power level of the Khan is tricky as it's a free respawning unit that's fast ranged and fires while moving. True. The perfect stats for a harassing unit as the general of the Mongol army when nudging him away from the effective harassment role. And this is like actually something that I picked up is that like I noticed that just all the high level Chinese players whenever they're playing against the Mongols, they would just open up with a stable at the very beginning of the game because they have to make a horseman just to get rid of the Khan because otherwise it's like, I'm going to be losing villages. I'm going to be, you know, forced to make outposts on resources. There's so many things that you're going to have to do. So just do that and it fixes it. They've also nerfed the weapon range or the weapon damage uh, from four to three in feudal age and eight to six in the castle age. And also the melee and ranged armor has been reduced from one down to zero in the castle age. I don't know how I feel about these changes. There, there was obviously an issue with the Khan. The way, at least uh, that was the way that I felt that there was an issue with the Khan, the way that it was almost a one-man army. 
players at the top levels especially i think vortex and lucifron were notorious for doing it but by the same to token you mean you know beastie cutie uh marine lord viper all incredibly talented at it as well but i just remember watching it the first time with vortex and watching the way that he was able to maneuver that khan never losing the khan at all and just for the first 10 minutes of the game he didn't make army for the first 10 minutes of the game he only had the khan he killed like five villages he forced three outposts up he he killed like five or six archers as well and he was playing against viper it was a king of the hill game and i i, I think it was at that point where i'm just like okay prop the response from viper probably should have been a horseman and that that's why you see china players doing that now but back then like ju just seeing how effective the khan is in that situation just constantly able to kite survive respawn if it dies it was just incredibly impressive and it begged the question as to whether it needed to be nerfed and it, it seems the devs have determined that that is the appropriate response so it's uh it's an interesting change we'll have to see how it works out but they're obviously moving him towards being a support unit and i think this is the right the right direction for the khan uh moving it towards a support unit and not a one-man army I, I would definitely agree with that abyssid dynasty camel archer movement speed reduced from 1.69 tiles to 1.62 tiles good so they revert back the camel archer movement speed change and the health has now been reduced from 175 to 10 to 50 to 140 170 200 so it gets a significant nerf with regard to its health uh and so the developers say we wanted to make a clear weakness for the camel archer unit so it's easy to counter and provides more in incentive uh to build mixing army um build mixing armies I think this is a great change. It's definitely going to help out a lot. It still leaves the Abbasid open to their Camel Archer plus Horseman composition, but at the same time, it makes it a little bit more micro-intensive. You've got to be, be, be making sure that you're pulling back those weaker Camel Archers so that they're not getting picked off. And by the same token, they've got less health on them, which now means that there's a higher threshold or a lower threshold for how many Archers you actually need to kill Camel Archers. And now you won't actually see people just going full Camel Archers because it was pretty funny when it happened. Matchmaking. Additional, oh gosh, additional tuning done to the matchmaking system for quick match and soon ranked queues. This tuning should see your matches with, you match with players more closely aligned with your ELO, though in some cases may mean slightly longer wait times. And I think, I think that's a pretty reasonable thing. I mean, would you rather wait three minutes for a game and go up against Viper? Or would you rather wait five minutes and go up against somebody who not only lives near you, but also is close to you in ELO? I know what I would prefer. I would prefer to play against Viper. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would much rather a, uh, a, a a closer game. And that's exactly what they've done. So you can see that the, the max delta that they've got here uh, used to be 513 at three to three and a half minutes. Now it's only 173. So they're just reducing the scaling of it. And now finally, what's next? So we love hearing from you. So keep sharing your thoughts on the new changes in the forums and in various social channels. We also hope you want to participate in our survey soon where we'll be asking in-depth questions as we continue to refine and improve. Hopefully they're thinking about asking like, what sieves do you want to see added? Spain and Portugal? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. That will be coming in up in the uh, soon in the next week, so stay tuned. We still plan to keep an eye on any immediate call outs, and you can continue to look forward to our monthly patches for any bug fixes that are too big to send over to the server. Uh, we're also actively working on features we discussed for season two, which you can check out on our community. So first and foremost, big big shout out to the dev developers. You guys have done a great job. The fact that you've been able to come in and fix a massive issue, at least what would have been a massive issue, the day before ranked hats off to you guys this is really impressive and hopefully this is what we're we're starting to see i talked about it before the issue that the age of empires 4 was having was that there was a problem in the game and the developers had to take so much not necessarily develop the developers but developers together with the publishers together with the certification pipeline took so long to get those changes into the game there was if you go back and look on my youtube there's two periods of time i don't post videos number one i got COVID. number two animation cancelling was in the game I didn't want to cast games. This is my livelihood. And if I'm not even motivated to to go to get up and and you know make videos for YouTube, then that's when there's a serious problem with the game. And that problem existed simply because the developers together with the publishers and the certification pipeline took too long to get that change into the game and fix animation canceling. It finally happened and now we can see that the developers are really starting to speed up uh in in regard or with regard to a lot of their changes that they're making. So, hopefully they're a little bit more uh variable in with regard to sort of the flexibility of their changes as well as how quickly they're willing to put them up but i mean out of all these changes i, I gotta say i would agree with every single one of them uh 
except for the mangonel. Um, so let's talk a little bit about this because I, I know this has been a, a bit of a point of discussion for many people, the Age of Siege. Uh, and look, realistically, I should probably be doing a larger video on it to explain it. Uh, but essentially, the, the issue is that when masses of Siege begin building up, that people don't really know how to deal with them. So whether that's, you know, 15, 20 mangonels. Um, but I, I think there's a lot of other contributing factors to it that isn't just necessarily mangonels. Uh, and, and this is something that uh, numerous creators have talked about recently uh, and the issue isn't necessarily with mangonels being massed up because obviously if you if you mass up a lot of anything it's going to be incredible so when you've got 62 mangonels that are, are, are killing you well maybe the issue isn't the fact that there's 62 mangonels maybe it's the fact that your enemy got to 62 mangonels and you didn't kill them but look that, that's a, a story for another video a discussion for another video so let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this video and uh i'll make sure i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and uh looks to be an incredibly good patch i'll see you guys in the ranked battlefields